Greetings and salutations. Thank you for lending an ear to The Voice of the Times this Tuesday, February 9, 2021. For today's editorial, speculation on vaccines will cease when officials stop telling half-truths. Health Secretary Francisco Duque III found it necessary to officially issue during the weekend a strange statement that was more a statement of denial than an announcement of something. He sought to correct an evidently mistaken Philippine Star report that COVID vaccines would be arriving in the country on Valentine's Day, February 14. In his statement, poo-pooing the report, Duque declared emphatically that there is no definite date yet for the arrival of COVID-19 vaccines in the country. There is no communication from vaccine manufacturers about that, as in zero. It's purely indicative. There's no date, no flight schedule, and no time. Zero. Duque said, the health chief said the government was told only that vaccines will arrive maybe February, mid-February, or the week after mid-February. Duque also stressed that only 117,000 Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines, not 400,000, will comprise the first batch of deliveries from the U.S. pharmaceutical giant. It is a fact, however, that the mistaken STAR report was triggered by a statement from one member of the National Task Force Against COVID-19, or NTF, the chief implementer of the National Pandemic Action Plan. In an interview on Satotolang at 1PH last Wednesday, NTF medical advisor Ted Arboza declared that the first batch of vaccines will be arriving in the country by mid-February. Arboza said, the first to arrive will not come from our neighboring country. It will come in the middle of February, I think. The schedule is February 14, Valentine's Day. Urbosa added that aside from the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines, the country would be getting AstraZeneca, the vaccine developed by a Swedish-British pharmaceutical firm through the World Health Organization, or WHO. At an earlier forum, NTF head and vaccine czar Carlito Galvez Jr. also said the 117,000 vaccine doses from Pfizer would likely arrive by mid-February. Galvez added that AstraZeneca, on the other hand, would be delivering 5,500,800 to 9,290,400 doses by mid-late February. The latter delivery is subject to the issuance of an emergency use listing by the WHO for AstraZeneca and the completion of the next steps, he said. The provision of the vaccines to the Philippines is being facilitated by the COVAX facility, a system initiated by the WHO to ensure rapid, fair, and equitable access to COVID-19 vaccines around the world. COVAX, or COVID-19 Vaccines Global Access, is a global initiative aimed at easing access to the COVID-19 vaccines by poorer countries, led by the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization, the WHO, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, the Vaccine Manufacturers, and others. There has been much controversy about the inequality of vaccine distribution that has apparently favored the wealthier countries. According to Galvez, the Philippines is also seeking to increase to 1 million the number of Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines from the COVAX facility. So, who started the Valentine's Day speculation? It was the doing principally of a member of the Galvez-headed NTF. Herbosa also added the Philip that the vaccine delivery will not be coming from a neighboring country. He sought to dash any speculations that the first vaccines will be coming from China, as was once widely believed. If this latter information is true, then there is no forthcoming deliveries of the Sinopharm and Sinovac vaccines from China. This development would be news in itself because for months, the public and the Senate have dreaded that the government has already committed to buying the Chinese vaccines. And then, the vaccine czar refused to divulge the price of the Sinovac vaccine on the alleged ground that our government had committed to a non-disclosure agreement with Sinovac Biotech, the manufacturer of Sinovac. We cannot help noticing that the information that has caused the most misunderstanding has originated from the NTF. First, the non-disclosure agreement, and second, the Valentine's Day arrival of the first COVID vaccines. The lesson here is simple. The media and the public will stop speculating on the COVID vaccines for the country if the Galvez Task Force will desist from telling half-truths. And that's the editorial for Tuesday, February 9, 2021. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to our digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And listen to The Voice of the Times.